So good morning and welcome to another video. Today I find myself back at Irishtown Nature Park. Fantastic place to be any time of year, but fall and winter just offer so much opportunities for photography. And today we're getting creative. So guys, it's time. Yes, it's time. Time to embrace the shake. Throw that tripod away and get creative with ICM in the winter time. What could be better? What could be better? So today, we're going to get a bit creative. You may have seen my autumnal abstracts video. Well, guess what today is? Winter abstracts. Going to do quite a bit of ICM and mix it up a little bit with some multiple exposures. There's nothing like a bit of ICM to get the enthusiasm for photography going. And I urge you all to give it a shot. It's absolutely amazing. And some of the images you can capture are just fantastic. So low ICM photography may look like it's just a case of randomly waving the camera in the air like an idiot. It's not. It's like any other type of photography. Landscapes, seascapes, whatever, you name it. It's about capturing a feeling, capturing an emotion. So I urge you all to embrace the shake. Liberate your photography mind. Throw away your tripod. And give your soul some expression. And capture some amazing ICM images. Give it a try. So what type of images am I capturing today? Well, like I mentioned, multiple exposures in ICM. I've been using the Fujifilm X-T30, which is now recording, with the 18-55 kit lens. And then I switched over to my old Nikon D90 with a telephoto zoom, capturing some nice images. I'm going to switch back to the Fujifilm in a few minutes. I just wanted to do some pieces to camera. So that scene you're looking at there guys is a bit chaotic. You can see there's a few fallen branches, a couple of dead trees, and there's some young pine trees in the scene as well. Very chaotic. I'm sure it would make actually a nice, normal, traditional winter scene. So I'm going to fire off a few ICM images and multiple exposures of this area here and see what we can come up with. So guys, I'm having a bit of a blast down here. What I've just been photographing now is very minimalist type shots. Few, just ICM images, and then thought I'd get a bit more creative and try multiple exposures. Just these young saplings here, very dark stems on them. And uh, just moving the camera in a vertical direction, and then moving slightly to the side and doing the multiple exposure. Captured a few images there. Look okay in the back of the screen. We'll see how they turn out. Then I just happened to look up and I took a sort of wider shot of the scene here of the trees against the grey sky. Um, did a couple of just ICM again and then a couple with multiple exposure shots. Just looking up through the canopy there and uh, yeah, look interesting. Let's see. <clears throat> One thing I do want to try guys, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do it today or not, is to stick on... Um, 
the four stop as well as the polarizer when I'm doing my ICM and see if I can't get a much longer exposure. So instead of shooting at around an eighth of a second, fifteenth of a second, which is kind of my normal go-to shutter speeds, maybe try and go for three seconds, five seconds, see if I can get some more painterly type images. Um, not sure how that would work out, but if I'm feeling brave, I'll give it a shot a bit later on up the trail here. So let's go see what else we can capture. So guys, when you're out doing this type of photography, keep your eyes open for subjects, strong lines, or simple compositions. Things that would lend themselves to that minimalist type of photography. This little pine sapling here, just poking its head through the virgin snow there. And it just crying out to be a very simple image, very minimalistic type of shot. So I did fire off a few. So I think I just did one multiple exposure image of this and quite a few just simple ICMs, just varying the speed of my movement of the camera. Uh, some from just standing here on the trail, looking down this angle, and then somewhere I reached over, looking straight down from above, moved the camera in a circular type motion. Again, varying the speed of the camera movement and uh, capture some nice looking shots on the back of the screen. So if they're any good, I'll put a couple up now with some music and I'll save the best ones for the gallery at the end. Simple, but nice. So my last piece to camera guys, I mentioned keeping your eyes out for strong subjects, strong compositions. What could be stronger than this? This tree here with all its leaves still intact, a beautiful golden colour against everything else which is white and grey, gloomy, and this just stands out, just begging to be photographed. I have photographed it before with not much success, but I think this time I nailed it. Lots of multiple exposure shots and lots of ICM images just of this single tree. Very my angle, some from this angle here, some from where you guys are. And basically what caught my eyes, guys, I was actually just right on the other side of the path here, photographing the dark twigs. And I was about to pack up the camera and I just happened to, this just happened to catch my eyes. And uh, yeah, some really interesting compositions here. Going to get really creative with this, I think, in process and processing and see what I can come up with. I'm not going to do the filters. I mentioned earlier that I might put a four stop on and try for some much longer exposures. I'm going out again tomorrow uh, to one of my favourite locations and uh, I think I'll save that for that video. That's going to be a rather special video if it turns out the way I'm, I'm planning. I just cursed it, didn't I? Anyway, we'll save the filters for that video. I'm going to head back to the car now guys, uh, but as I go, if I see anything interesting, I'll be sure to let you know and I'll fire off a bunch more images on the way back to the car. Embrace the shake. <laughs> so guys, I don't know about you, but I've had an absolute blast this afternoon creating some ICM images and some multi-exposures. As I crossed over the bridge at the top end of the reservoir there, there was lots of grasses and shrubbery just sticking out through the snow. So a really minimalist kind of look. Um, pure white with just a few twigs or branches really lending themselves to multiple exposures. It took a bit of time there and uh, fired off a few images and I think they're pretty cool. If they're any good they're going to be in that gallery which is coming right up. Stay tuned for that gallery. If you like this type of photography guys, check out some of my other videos. All that's left to say now is don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers for now and I'll see you in the next one. Embrace the shake. <laughs>